Hi, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm happy that you're here today. And if you're new, take a moment to subscribe, hit the bell button, hit the like button, and also leave a comment down below. Say something like thinking spring or tell me your favorite herb, favorite plant. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a cutting from uh, this is a lilac tree or lilac bush behind me and I'm going to take a cutting of new growth and I'm going to try to propagate and start uh, a new bush from the old bush. So let's get started. <music> this way where you can actually cut a branch and start a new bush or a new tree from the branch but it really has to be a new branch like new growth where it's green not you can't cut like a big woody um, hard solid branch and just stick it in the ground it's uh, maybe in some instances that would work but the best chance is if you cut new growth so I'm going to turn my camera around and I'm going to show you what I mean Beautiful lilac in bloom right now. Just like look at those flowers. So so pretty. They smell so good. Oh my gosh. They're like my favorite So let's go in here This is an old branch You can see this Old wood and then down here are these new growths. They're they're green and flexible and they're attached to something that's old growth this like slightly old not as old as what I showed you first so what I want to do is get this green part this green growth and I'm going to actually trim I'm going to trim right up here where the new growth is split and it's growing and I'm going to take two of these and start a new Try, uh, try to start a new lilac bush. Okay, so I'm back inside and I have the new growth from the lilac bush that I cut and I wanted to cut the stem at an angle. Every time you do a cutting, you should do an angle cut. And then um, I'm going to remove most of these leaves and then I'm just going to stick it right here in the dirt. See, I have three lilac stems in the in my pot. I removed most of the leaves. You want to leave some on so that they can um, absorb the sunlight. And I am going to water this pot really well and I'm going to put it in a semi-sunny place, not too sunny or it'll stress them too much. And you want to just let the, the stems the branch is in the dirt and you can check in a few weeks you want to keep watering it and see if it gets little hairs that's the root system starting up and at that point you can transfer transfer each stem into their own pot and um, so I have done this before it you're usually not a hundred percent successful but I should at least get one success out of these three lilac stems. Yeah, I have the lilac flowers that I cut and I cut them because I'm going to do a floral essence with the lilacs which I will turn into a whole nother video so stay tuned for that but I just wanted to finish this video with these beautiful lilac blossoms which are in bloom. It is early May and this is when they are in bloom and they do not last long but they're wonderful while they do. So before you head out, I want to share with you three books I've self-published. They are listed in the description down below and you can link over. They are on Amazon. So check them out. I have a booklet. This is my all you need to know about making herbal tea. It's a great beginner guide. 
It is about making herbal tea with leaves and flower parts. And it's perfect. It's gonna get you started on herbal teas. Then I also have um, my children's book, The Story of the Gluten-Free Kid. This was written by me and illustrated with the help of my kids. And perfect for anybody who has any gluten-free kids. A really fun story that will help them not feel so alone. And then the third book is my Mommy and Me Journaling Activities for Love and Serenity and Art Journaling Activities, I should have said. This is um, to be done with an art journal or an art notebook. And it is basically activities. So you have the still life activity, you have the doodle activity, you have it's called the I am activity. So my three books on Amazon, link from the description, help me out. Thanks so much.